Hey guys, here today with another Tech Tip Tuesday. This one's gonna be short and sweet, but it's very relevant, especially as people are doing fuel systems. We're underneath Andy's uh, 05 GTO race car. This was originally an NA car. Um, now we're doing a twin 67 millimeter turbo setup on a Texas Speed 388 cubic inch LSX motor. And uh, so needless to say, it'll be getting leaned on quite a bit harder than it was before. He had this fuel pump mounted in a trunk and a whole different fuel system that he kind of put together a while ago. But uh, we were looking at it yesterday and we thought, eh, we probably should you know, redo it, resize things, make sure we get as much flow as we can so that we can uh, never be held up by fuel. That being said, this Magnafuel 4303 is a very common pump. And uh, this tip can be actually applied to any style pump out there on the market. If you look at it on the back here, it has an, a number eight um, O-ring fitting. So number eight screws right in. And uh, whether you know or not, you can actually get a number eight O-ring to adapt to a uh, six. It can adapt up to a 10 or 12 and uh, obviously an eight. So the, the question and the point of today's Tech Tip Tuesday is that just because it has a number eight fitting, uh, this size that you're looking at here, doesn't mean that you wanna supply that pump with an eight. The low side or the low pressure side or the suction side of a pump might have a number eight fitting in it. So just because it has a number eight doesn't mean you wanna feed it with a number eight. Uh, the low pressure side or the suction side of anything is gonna be kind of similar. A lot of the pumps on the market have small fittings on them, but in order to maximize this Magnafuel 750, you really need to run a number 12 line to it. Uh, the reason why is because you don't have pressure coming in. So if you're, if you're going out with a number 10, which is what we recommend to uh, maximize this pump, I've even heard of people using a number 12, but if you're going out with a number 10, then you wanna feed it with one size bigger. So whether it applies to this or a brushless aeromotive or an old A1000 or something, you always want to have your uh, feed line going into your pump at least one size larger than what's going out. In all reality, you cannot have too large of a feed size. So you could technically run a 16 or something if you wanted because it's going to have a column of fuel that's coming into it, uh, especially if it's at or below the level of the fuel. It's going to have a fuel column feeding it, so it won't be a big deal. Uh, but having a bigger means that the pump is never starved to pull fuel. Um, if the pump is sucking that line dry or basically sucking at a rate that's faster than what it's pumping out at, then it's always gonna be limited by the amount of fuel that's available to it. So by having a number 12 line going into the pump via the filter, or if you went straight in, but we usually suggest having a pre-filter, you're always gonna have more fuel than you need to supply that number 10 pressure line. So I've seen guys do this before where they have an eight going in and eight out, or a 10 in and 10 out, and it's really going to limit the performance of that fuel pump. A uh, good way to, to uh, ensure you get the most fuel out of a fuel pump is to go ahead and supply it with one size larger than what you're gonna have on the pressure side. In addition, it's actually gonna make the motor work less hard, so it's kinda gonna pull as much amperage and it's not gonna make the motor as hot on the uh, fuel pump. So another confusing thing is, like this is the pre-filter from Magnafuel. Um, it has number 10 O-ring. So you have 10 O-ring here, you have eight O-ring here, and uh, you're actually needing 12 all around. So this is a 74 micron pre-filter, which is what Magnafuel suggests with this pump. You're still gonna wanna go 12 AN in and 12 out to the pump, and uh, that'll make sure you have sufficient flow. Not all pre-filters are built equally. So at the same time you're doing this is a good time to evaluate what filter you're using. Um, both in compatibility, if you're using ethanol, you're gonna wanna use a stainless pre-filter, not a paper pre-filter. And then also size. Not only can the size of this restrict uh, flow to your pump on the low, si low pressure side, but also your filter. I see a lot of people grab a, a house brand um, pre-filter or one off of eBay, and then they don't get the performance out of their pump that they would like to see. And then that's the first question. I say, what pre-filter, what post-filter? And they tell me this, and they're like, well, it's the same size on the outside as a Magnafuel or an Aeromotive or whatever. Doesn't mean it's the same inside. I'll do another video on that, actually, hopefully this next week, because there's a huge significant difference in the design of filters internally, and uh, that can definitely be a cause for harm of your pump and uh, low performance. We'll keep it short and sweet today. I know we have a lot of these Tech Tip Tuesdays, so I won't crowd this with, with a bunch of other information, 
but I hope that makes sense to you. When you're plumbing your fuel system, make sure you use one size larger going into the pump than you have going out of it. And if you have questions on sizing, uh, line size in, out, up front, all the way to the back to the return, or any components that go along with the Magnum Fuel 4303 or any of the other aeromotive lines we carry, give us a call. We have this new um, fuel system planner on our website. It's actually more of a uh, customizer. So what we will do is you can plug in some information about your setup and your goals, hit the submit button, and then we ask you to put a $25 deposit if you're ready to purchase it. And at that time, we will customize the fuel system exactly for you. And when you get the fuel system, it will be all bagged and labeled where everything goes and built specifically to match the needs that you put in that customizing form. It's a really cool thing. It's usually a one to two day turnaround. Our prices are as good as the big box stores anyways. You still get free shipping. There's no upcharge on it. We just want to make sure that when you unbox your fuel system from us, you get the best fuel system, the best performance, everything's compatible, uh, and you get quality lines, fittings, and hardware. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We will see you next time. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Leave us a comment if you have any questions. Uh, we get these tech tips from your questions, so we're always watching. Thanks.